Yo, what's up my stalkers? How are you guys doing today? Um, yeah, today I'm gonna show you the last two uh, endings to this game. Um, there are a couple of couple more, but it requires a lot of a lot of work. Like some of them are like hours of work, and I'm not really up to or have the time to do that. But um, this this is one of them. This is one of the easy ones. Um, we start off here, and it just closed the door. Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. That's what if it. He had to make a decision. What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. <laughs> I will be happy. Just close the door and, and let it be that. Hours passed. Let it be it. <laughs> then days. Had like, years hours passed? By, he no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew do, for sure there's a clock right here. Doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, <laughs> very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. <laughs> now it's even closer. Now it's even Here closer. It Wait. That was short? <laughs> Okay, that's one ending, and there's another one here. All of his here. co workers were gone. What could it mean? Um, Stanley decided to go to the meeting. Go up here. Perhaps he had simply Crouch. missed a memo. No matter go how hard this. Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co workers. Yeah, this, this looks like a bug, because I'm going right through the window. But this is actually. Eh, there we go. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map, <laughs> until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary <laughs> into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Yeah, it Why is. Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Yeah. Oh. Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? <laughs> Are you sick of this gag yet? What? What? Oh, um, let's see. Uh, yes. Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old time you want. <laughs> like, right now. You could have done it just then. Now would also be an appropriate time to quit. <laughs> <laughs> Any of these points and so many, many more, all of them are appropriate. I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. So, just to push the envelope, I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible and see how long you can maintain. <laughs> there once was a man named Stanley who people considered so manly. But the truth must be told, he was not very old and was quite particularly gangly. What Stanley liked most was buttons. He pushed them like some kind of glutton. He did it all day in a meaningful way, but his brain had long ceased to function, which is why he is in this parable. <laughs> and lives an existence quite terrible. And if you are not strong and keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. Yes. <laughs> you too will become quite unbearable. Encore! Encore! There's nothing to see here. Absolutely nothing except this window. I can't walk any further either. Maybe we can duck or something. No. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay here until he stops playing. At least I hope he does stop playing. At some point. I remember doing this 
choosing the other option and it got an entirely different response. So I'll show you that as well. And I didn't think there was this would be any different, but it <laughs> actually is. Oh, he just keeps playing. <laughs> he just keeps playing the same thing. Um. Okay, let's see if he stops. No, he doesn't stop. Okay. <laughs> Let me restart. Begin the game again. Okay, let's go in here. All of his Do the same thing. Gone. What could go up this chair. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps yeah, he had to actually the run up against it. No matter how hard Stanley looked, and he couldn't find a trace yeah, of his co-workers. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard <coughs> this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? <laughs> Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Okay, let's choose no. Ah, then in that case, we'll continue. But now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have I didn't taken think the same so, but idea it did. but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, now think about it. Would it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just mm -hmm. to do the other option? Yes. Clearly, this did. whole gag takes some time. What if the other option is even longer? Yeah, How was. long would you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, and this is rich. Perhaps you've just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. So, what do you think? <laughs> Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected mm, continue sure on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. Though, if the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps <coughs> you're not. In fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. Well, now, I've built up the other you're option welcome. so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here, continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, I think this that's actually it. You can't... <clears throat> choose anything else now it's just you're just stuck here so yeah <laughs> that's it guys it's a bit of a short episode but um, tomorrow I'm gonna think it, um, about doing another game I'm not sure which game it is because I'm always kind of picky about um, picky about getting a new game or choosing a game to uh, play on the channel. I've been playing some some XCOM, Enemy Unknown, and I really like the game. But I think it's I think the game is a bit too long to make it out of, to make it a let's play out of this or out of it. So I'm gonna gonna think about it. I'll let you guys know tomorrow. And there is another vlog coming up after this. So and. You'll see that later on. So thanks guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Hey you guys, thank you for watching Stalkers. Remember to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye. Finish it off, Stanley! Five clicks on door four three zero. <laughs> yes! We did it! <laughs> oh wow, that felt amazing. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really, now? What were you thinking? Oh, God. What the hell is this game? <laughs>